Picking up right where we left off, Canvas user update step, where the magic happens. What's up, everyone? My name is Alan, founder and consultant at Fornal Marketing, and welcome to day 23 of Brazemus 2023. Before we get started, if you have any questions, whether you are currently using Braze or considering using Braze, please feel free to reach out. You can find these addresses and more in the YouTube description below. So yesterday in part one of this series, we got most of our setup finished and it's time to build our Canvas user update step. Let's get started. So we are on page five, the build Canvas page, and we will create a user update step. I personally like to click the plus button, click on one of the rectangles right below, scroll down a bit and click user update. And by the way, the user update step is a really cool and convenient way for us to log data back to the Braze user profiles. I posted a different video on how to do the exact same thing using Braze webhooks, and they both work perfectly fine. However, the extra nice thing about the user update step is that it allows us to skip the step of creating API keys and just provides a nicer UI for this process. Anyway, back to our canvas, let's click the user update orange rectangle and we see this screen. We're currently on the UI editor, which only allows us to edit custom attributes. But if we click the drop down and choose advanced JSON editor, this gives us the raw input field and we can log a lot more than just custom attributes, including custom events. And if we actually click the documentation link up here, and there's actually quite a bit of helpful information and even few code snippets provided. So we will scroll down to the log custom events script, which I'll also include in the YouTube description below. I'm going to go ahead and copy that and paste that code into our text box back in the canvas builder. And then we do get this little error, which just says that Braze will use what's inside the advanced JSON editor for this user update step. And that is what we want. So I'll go ahead and close this out. And the only thing to change in this code is the name of our custom event. So Braze's example says logged user event, but we will change this to level up as we discussed in part one. And of course, feel free to change it to whichever custom event that makes sense for your team. Just to make sure that our script is formatted properly, let's go ahead and click preview and test. Find my user. There I am. Click send test to user. And by the way, this is simply checking to see if that our custom event will be logged properly. And we still haven't tested whether the change in our custom attribute will fire this canvas properly, which we will do shortly. And also Braze made this feature really well. We're given some live updates and even a direct link to the user profile so we don't have to exit out of this page and lose our spot. And if we check our page, we can see that level up has been triggered just a few seconds ago. So that's from our canvas test. So that looks all good. And by the way, I made some previous tests and that's why we see a count of four, but just pretend that this is our first time testing. So theoretically, every time our custom attribute level changes, Bray should automatically be logging a custom event called level up. That's actually all that's required for our canvas setup. So we are ready to launch this canvas. And by the way, two things to note about this canvas. One, this canvas does not send any messages. So even though we've launched this canvas, we will not be sending any messages to users. Two, however, every time this canvas is fired, it will consume one data point for your Braze dashboard when it's logging the custom event. So please consider the volume for this canvas before you launch it. Go ahead and launch this one. And this looks good. So at this point, we can go back to our original push campaign, the new user level up tips level one to 10. And this is the campaign for which we wanted to track our conversion event on the change of custom attribute. And now that we have a matching custom event that will fire every time the custom attribute changes, we should be able to track the conversion event that we wanted. So on our campaign builder under page four, assign conversions, or if you're on a canvas, it would be under page one. Let's click add conversion event, choose performs custom event and find our new custom event called level up. And it's there, we love to see it. And this officially ends our setup process. Now that we finished setting up our tutorial, we'd love to do a full end-to-end -end testing to make sure everything works properly. And we will do this on the next video. So stay tuned for part three. That's it for day 23. If you have any questions, please share them in the comments. We're happy to help. 
If you learned something from this video, then please subscribe for more awesome Braves videos in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.